Well, there's a look at some of the boys in there. Kimar Ferguson, 800 record holder, starts at the back. Kevroy Vinson, his teammate, Calabar, starts at the front. Now he comes to the front. Therese Roden, Kingston College is in there as well. Ariamania Rogers starts in the middle of the pack. The Calabar boys are seeing what he really has. This strategy is surprising me a little bit because I thought the Calabar boys would hang back and try to use their speed in the last 700 meters. Michael Clark, a master strategist, and I think he's designed this one for Rogers in particular. 359.59, number one in the nation this year, 750 Rogers. The Calabar boys gone ahead. Record breaker Farkasen, last year's class three champion, Venson, they've gone straight to the lead. Is this playing into Rogers? His hands, though, is the big question. I think he has less speed than those two Calabar boys. He's in the lead, pushing the pace. Since they're needed already, if they kick on, he's in no man's land. It's Kemar Farkasen and Kevroy Vinson up front for Calabar. This is not a coincidence. When Farkasen, the record holder in the 800 meters, went to the front, he said to his teammate, let's go with a hand signal, the same signal used by the Henry brothers in class 3, 1500. Aria Mania Rogers back in third spot, in fourth spot at the moment. The second KC athlete, Therese Roden, well back. The pace is fast. Yes. Uh in the lead, Farkasen, 151-26 early in the championships with Benson second and Rogers starting to approach. So, Kitmar Farkasen of Calipar with the advantage. Aria Mania Rogers takes closer orders. Renardo Johnson of San Diego is right up there. And those two go by the Calabar boys who are relegated to third and fourth at the moment. They've tried to Rogers work. has recovered and is uh, Ian, the San Diego boy, moving to the lead. That's the question for me, though. If your strength is speed, why not use that speed in the latter stages of the race? Again, they tried to surprise Rogers. And I think at this stage, it looks like that strategy is backfiring, but let's see, they still have 600 meters to go. Aria Mania Rogers, this is where he really starts to turn it on. The problem for the Calabar boys, can they stay with him enough to use their speed in the last 700 meters? Four at the top, including Renardo Johnson of St. Jaco, he is part of this wonderful party. Looks like they've sped out to trick him and taking a rest, another race really begins. It's Vincent who is going forward first to challenge Ariamania Rogers. Rogers comes through here with the advantage at the bell lap. Rogers with the lead. Renardo Johnson is it's there. Vincent who has got to attack him. Kimar Farkasen with the speed, hangs back into fourth position. Rogers in the lead looking really good. Starts to crank it up now. Johnson and Vincent battling. Farkasen out of it now. The race for Gosev and Bronze is here. Kefroy Fenston steps forward to challenge Ariamania Rogers. Rogers realizes that there is a challenge and continues to pour it on down the back straight away. He will go for another gear. Vincent will try to sit in behind him. Farkasen is well out of it and will not get back to the top two. It's a color boy Kingston College battle. Vincent on the outside, last year's class three champion. The Ugandan leading for KC. Here comes Kefroy Vincent. Goes by Ariamania Rogers. Vincent looks to the crowd and pulls his supporters. Kefroy Vincent creates the big victory. Look at the clock. Look at the clock. The record has been smashed. Wow. 355.36. Can you believe that? The stadium is standing. The first year class two athlete. Last year's 1500 champion. Calabar strikes back. My oh my. Did we see that coming? I would say no. Rogers came in with the only, and I repeat, only sub four minute time among the class two athletes for boys this year, and he has been soundly defeated. Bruce, when I looked at his championships, I felt that this race and the boys class 100, 200, key race in the champs, Casey versus Calabar. Calabar on the move now because Venson has beaten Rogers and destroyed the record set just last year by Lawrence of San Diego. 355-3 for Venson, first year class two. Brilliant running. 
Psychologically, Calabar, I think, came in here better prepared. Look at this. That's the hand signal there by the 800 meter record holder in the lead at this point. The team runs ahead. I agree with Hubert Lawrence. After running and pushing the pace, Hubert, they did take a break and rest. I tell you what, and this is probably what Patrick was talking about because this was team running. Kimar Farkison set up the race for Kevroy Fenson, who he knew was the stronger man. They took Rogers and a merry clip, wore him out, and set the sprinter to go. So, Benson but wins last year, wins this year. Where would the record have been had Benson been interested in time as opposed to place? 3.55.38, he could easily have run 3.52 there. Rogers, personal best, 3.57.02. Farkison gets the bronze medal, 9 and 6. 15 points for Calabar. There